Hey guys, we're here for another Smash Unbox. Okay, uh, this is specifically for Xiaomi fans and mobile phone of uh, Xiaomi users. Um, about today is uh, the Mi UI 12 and if your phone is a China ROM or China version Xiaomi then you may want to stay and watch this because we're gonna do a walkthrough of a setup as well as downloading the Google Play Store into your phone okay so what we have here is a Redmi K30 Ultra and uh, it's a China ROM and uh, obviously my goal is to have Google Play Store available to the phone so I can make use of um, the important applications uh, normally. Okay, so let's start. So this is uh, basically very uh, straight out of the box. So let's select English. And then it will uh, get you connected to your router. Okay. Let's just do the agreements, privacy, uh -huh. then the Redmi K30 is a dual SIM, that's why you're going to see a dual SIM there, okay, and uh, it will ask you to sign in to your Mi account, for this case what we're going to do is uh, we'll definitely sign in. Okay, it's kind of hard because uh, you can see that uh, it's still on the Chinese uh, setting. Okay, now let's log in to the Xiaomi. Okay, entry code. Okay, sending code. I'm sending the code to, to another mobile phone. All right, so we can uh, enter here. All right, enter that code that you receive. Then Xiaomi Cloud Sync. Let's turn that off for the meantime. Um, don't use okay um, we're gonna skip the fingerprint and screen lock for the meantime um, record your greeting let's skip that as well and then you may untick um, this additional settings here agree uh -huh. mobile network operator agreement let's check on that they're gonna prompt you to uh, the themes. Are you gonna do full gesture? It's okay. Let's just skip that for the meantime. Setup complete. So really quick, uh, but you have to expect that you're gonna see Chinese applications or even Chinese notifications and setup here. So a lot of work to be done to get this to sort of a working um, global application Play Store setup okay setup uh, complete you're ready to rock okay uh, swipe up to enter the system okay now you can see the uh, dark mode of uh, xiaomi 11 uh, xiaomi uh, android 10 uh, mi ui 12 and you see that we still have those default applications that are for Chinese use, okay? So what we're gonna do is basically, um, you could see right away some of the applications uh, name are written in Chinese, so you can just put them all together in uh, one container, okay? Just to tidy it up. And it doesn't mean it says they're games. It's actually something that is useful for you. You know, I'll give you an example. We click on games, uh, you agree with it, and it's gonna be 
all in Chinese um, language, advertisement, etc. See that? Uh, and it's asking you to install a 2.3 gig um, update maybe. So we're going to clear this one too together with the calendar. Let's just keep them all in one container. Right. The Mi Store, guys, is the same. It's all in Chinese. Um, you won't be able to get it to an English language. Um, so, so basically, you're going to keep the weather. Okay. All right. Gallery. Okay. The so gallery is fine. We're not going to take a photo right now. Uh, me video on the other hand I think this is Chinese as well if I'm not mistaken so let's wait for it to load if not then it's good I mean we can keep this one still loading themes okay themes you see that guys uh, even though the application name is in English when you go inside uh, it's still in Chinese language okay unfortunately I have not seen a way to get this sort of uh, change into English so for the meantime we're gonna put this in that container okay uh, file manager it's okay um, that's gonna be in workable English settings definitely in English um, security yes in English as well uh, some tools here, I think some of the tools here is uh, something that we'll need to review. Um, okay, and get apps, the me get apps. All right, see that guys, it's all in Chinese language, right? I've not seen a way to get those uh, into a plain English language, uh, which I don't think so. So we're going to exit from that. Um, now let's turn on the... How do you actually turn on the screen capture? Okay, see, there's still some notifications uh, in Chinese language. Basically, all applications that are in native Chinese language, if their no notification is turned on, then you're gonna get this. Which, yeah, you know, if if you can read Chinese, fine. But if not, then it's gonna be something that you want to get rid of. So what we're gonna do here is, I just want to start to do a, a screen recording. Uh, we're going to jump into right away how to get uh, Google Play Store. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is obviously connect it to the internet. Uh, at the bare minimum, you have your Me account signed in already, which we have here. The next one is go to this, Me Get Apps. So click on that. Then it will look like that, you know, you're, you're, you're sort of uh, inside the, their own Google Apps. Uh, Play Store okay once you click on that on top uh, there's a magnifying glass that's obviously the search window or the search uh, field so let's type there Google I need to change the uh, there you go okay found it guys this button here changes it to plain QWERTY keyboard style okay so let's delete that character. Let's do Google. All right. Now, when you do a search, okay, um, obviously you don't see the Google um, icon or Google Play Store available right away. Uh, look at my enter. It's not even, well, it's still in Chinese. I wonder how can we change that. Um, anyway, so that's enter. It's doing a search. You won't see... Uh, most of the time, you won't see the Google uh, application here right away. So what you need to do is scroll all the way down. Unfortunately, guys, this last option here, I couldn't read it, of course, but that's what you're going to click. And it's going to bring you to this Google. Okay, this is a Google app installer, right? I know it's in Chinese, but uh, it is what it is. So let's get that. So it's going to start downloading. See, it's 
some applications here but uh, we better stick with okay still pending it says but I, I am connected to Wi-Fi so I wonder why okay just did a pending and resume Double checking that we're connected to Wi-Fi. Yes, we are. Ah, oh, it says they're downloading two files. Got it. Okay, it's uh, okay. So the pending there doesn't mean it's not downloading. It's actually downloading. You need you just need to swipe down. All right, downloading two files. I don't know why two files, but we we'll get to see it. Okay. Okay, still not done. That's it. Uh, it's just 167 KB, so I wonder why is it taking time. We chat. We don't need that right now. Let's click on that. Uh huh. Pending, pending, pending. Installing. Oh, it's trying to update some of its default applications, right? That's why. Let's delete that so straight away you can delete the apps here you know it's good if, if you can use them right even though they're on Chinese but uh, if not then uh, I don't think it's it's wise to keep them because remember guys uh, if you have them installed they will you know sometime prompt you with notifications as well as uh, requests for updates and uh, those kind of stuff. So we're getting rid of that. Let's go back. So we're getting rid of that. Okay, now we're left with the um, Google installer. Okay, did it install? Oh, okay, it says they're open. So let's press on that one. This app was built for older version of Android and may not work properly. Try checking updates and contact the de developer. Okay, we'll just proceed. Don't worry, guys. It will find its uh, latest version. Okay, allow to install apps. See that? Google Services Framework. Okay, always allow. Install. Okay, do not delete that yet. We'll just uh, go back. So press on done. You see that there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, five uh, applications that needs to be installed before you completely get Google Play. So we'll just continue with it. Um, clear installation packages, install. Okay, done. See, there's two tick marks already. And you see that uh, there's 24% below. Okay, let's wait. So it says there are three out of six Google Play services it's being installed. The good thing about this, guys, is that, yeah, there is a way to get uh, Google Play Store in the China Rome version uh, Xiaomi phones. You know, initially I thought you, you need to flash the, the bias of the phone, but that is something um, more in-depth. Okay, so let's install that. Google Play services installing. Okay, so that's about 100 B. Uh -huh. Install again. Okay. Google Contact Sync install again. Done. So we're on the last part already. See that it's Google Play. Okay, Google Play require permissions. Let's check the permissions. Have, uh, have full access. Yes, we want full access. Modify system requirements. Yep. Access download manager. Yes. Okay, and let's go back. So it has all the needed uh, permissions. Okay. Google Play Store. Uh huh. Done. Okay. So you have six check marks already. Now let's press on Google Play. Accept. Okay, checking information. 
So I'm already logged in uh, on my Xiaomi account here. Let's see. Okay. Accessing device info by Google. Black response sent to protect. Okay. So um, since you have this prompt already, that's a very good sign that you have downloaded the Google Play Store. So, you know, like any Google Play Store, you need to log in your Google account. Let's uh, type that in. Smash and box. Still need to figure out how can we clean this uh, keyboard style here. Gmail. Okay, do that. Then of course, then probably do. Okay, now it's gonna do a two-step verification. Check your phone, right? So my uh, my Google account, I did activate the two-factor authentication, and it's linked to my other phone. So once you have that turned on, then check your other phone. If you have, uh, you should get a notification for that. Uh, Google services, smash and box, very good. Uh, backup Google Drive, let's just accept it for now. Uh, okay, uh, open, I suppose. Google Play. There you go, guys. Check that out. Finally, a full English version of Google Play. So let's try it out. Uh, let's say you need uh, Google Maps. Google Maps. Okay, just to make sure. See? So there you go. Basically, what happens is that you're gonna get this Google Play Store. Now, don't be confused. There's still a Google Play Store. Uh, well, another Google. Um, what you call that? Another Google application here. Um, I'm not sure if we can easily delete that, but remember we had the uh, error message that it's outdated. So it's basically uh, download the correct updates and brings you uh, this Play Store application. Okay, there's still a lot of work to be done, guys, because as you could see, as I was typing in, um, I'm still getting those um, um, Chinese character format. So a lot of cleanup to be done. Okay, now what we do with the Chinese uh, application, like I said, just, just put them in one container. Um, the best way to take care of them is actually uh, have them uninstalled. Um, otherwise, it will ask for updates from time to time. And even your notification, if you scroll down, you see that? You're still going to see those Chinese uh, uh, notification, right? Even if you scroll down, um, well, I don't have that set up yet. So that's, that's basically how you install uh, Play Store in your China Rome uh, Xiaomi phone. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll just comment on our YouTube space. If, if you find this helpful and uh, interesting, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. This is another Smash Unbox.